the Dragons have a rich tradition of basketball excellence in the city of Philadelphia. The Big Five was formed in 1955. LaSalle, Penn, St. Joe's, Temple, and Villanova. The five Division I basketball programs in Philadelphia at the time. Now, in 2023, 50 years after joining Division I, Drexel has officially become a part of the Big Five, adding to the basketball tradition in Philadelphia, one of the only places in the country with six competitive Division I basketball programs. I mean, I think Drexel being included in the Big Five is big time. Uh, it's great for our program, it's great for the school. The publicity around the school, you know, it, it draws a lot of attention to our program. At the end of the day, it, it can only help us perform better. Uh, with all our eyes on us, we just want to prove a point that we're happy to be here and that we're here to stay. It's a tremendous honor uh, for Drexel to be officially included. We've played all of these teams and all these programs from time to time. I think it's great. Uh, not only for our players, for our future recruits, but also equally, if not more importantly, for our student body, our fan base, and everyone that works at Drexel University. Well, it's exciting, first and foremost, and I think it's also a long time coming. That has been a long conversation and, and something that has not, this is not the first time that it was, should Drexel be in the Big Five? We've had a legacy of strong basketball that dates back throughout the history of our program. And so from coaches like Sam Cozen, to players like Malik Rose. I mean, they, these are guys whose legacy and whose competitiveness prove that we can stand up to any of the other five institutions here in Philadelphia. I think that when you think of like Philadelphia basketball, first thing that comes to mind is probably Villanova. But like, you never really thought of Drexel, but now that you see the big five and you watch the games, you watch the game at Wells Fargo, you watch us play Temple here, I think you can see we belong and uh, I think it'll increase our stock and people might become big Drexel fans, like little kids can be Drexel fans and not just Villanova fans. The Big Five started in 1955. The AD at the time of the University of Penn basically got together with Villanova, St. Joe's and other local schools. And they basically realized that in Philadelphia we have a unique um, situation of five really large universities that compete at a really high level and they realized that they should make a more formal league out of it. I think anytime you can uh, connect yourself uh, with a long-standing brand and reputation such as the Big Five in basketball in the city of Philadelphia officially, uh, it's, it's great for our institution. Uh, it's great for Drexel, it's great for the athletic department, it's great for our student body, our fan base, and really anybody that's connected present future and past uh, with Drexel Basketball and Drexel University. This is a nod to the work that has been done by our student athletes, our coaches, and administrators, administrators who've had really healthy conversations about how we engage at not just the intersection of civic engagement and being partners in the city, but at the intersection of competition and particularly basketball, which is, this is, this is Philly. Basketball is king in the college landscape. Me, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, I've been playing in uh, big games my whole life. So for me, I feel like it'll just be another game, but at the same time, you know, you still get excited in moments like that. Um, you know, I've been going to the Wells Fargo Center my whole life since I've grown up been, being a Sixers fan. So to be able to play on that floor, it, it'd be a, a wonderful experience. And I think for a lot of people, they don't think of basketball when they think of Drexel or when you think of Philadelphia basketball you might not think of Drexel and I think Drexel being in the Big Five will change that. Um, so now when you think of Philadelphia basketball you're going to think of Villanova and Penn and St. Joe's and LaSalle and Temple and now you're going to have to add Drexel in there. I'm excited for a couple things. One, uh, our players and our fan base to, to have the opportunity to go head to head um, in the same way everybody is. A home game, a road game and a neutral site game. Uh, it, it's just a, a great opportunity uh, for Drexel to be included into a, a really, really rich basketball history and tradition of, and we've said it before and we'll continue to say it, that uh, Philadelphia is the greatest city for college basketball in America, bar none, and uh, we're honored to officially be included in that. From the time I arrived and certainly from those before me. It's always about how do you illuminate your brand. As an institution, how do we continue to attract students to the broad swath of academic opportunities that exist? And right here in our own backyard, we have five other Division I institutions 
that now on an annual basis, we'll really have a structure around playing them. There's no doubt that this strengthens the brand of who we are as an institution and certainly on the platform of basketball. Now, let's see what happens on December 2nd.